Hello, it's Jason Payne for Cold Banker Dean Hop Realtors. Today I'm coming to you from the community of Lantana Ridge in Spring Branch, Texas. This is a one acre lot community with low tax rates. We're talking 1.75, that's a really low tax rate. But the house behind me is not on the market yet, so you're getting a sneak peek. The builder is Lifestyles by Stadler Homes, and this is a gorgeous house. It's just over 3,100 square feet. Let's go check it out. This is a beautiful plan. It is in the framing stage, and like I said, they haven't got on the market yet. But per their sales rep, they're asking 1.125 for this house. It is a four bedroom, three and a half bath with a study and an upstairs game room slash apartment. But I can't wait to show that one off. Three car garage. And you can tell this is a really quiet neighborhood. One of the things I do like about this particular location is there's no other construction around it. So if you're looking to have a brand new home, but uh, don't want all that construction noise around you, this is definitely something to check out. They do build with the zip system. Let's we see the green panels on there. And I definitely like that for making the house a little more wind resistant, definitely a lot more water resistant, just builds a really stronger house. Anyways, uh, let's go check out this house that's currently under construction and not even on the market yet. If you haven't done so already, hit that like button. Of course, I want you to subscribe to my channel. I am a real estate agent that specializes in helping people relocate here. And one of the things I like the most is when my viewers become clients. The best way to do that is in the description box. You're gonna have all my information to reach out to me. All right, coming right in front, you have this office or study right up here. And I love the fact that you can already tell there's gonna be lots of lighting in it. So we got can lighting already built in and lots and lots of outlets. This is gonna be the main living space. So you're gonna have the kitchen. Right here is gonna be placed for the dining room table. And if you look up, you can see it's kind of framed for the wood beams. Uh, it's gonna like the wood cedar beams. And the same thing in the kitchen, it's gonna have two of them. Lots and lots of living space right here. They've got the in-ground outlets and your uh, fireplace, a little place for stuff on the sides of it as well. So I really do like this plan. Let's go check out these additional bedrooms first. All right, coming here, we've got one bedroom, tall ceilings, eight foot doors. Of course, you're gonna want eight foot doors if you've got tall ceilings. This is gonna be one of the closets. And then we got another bedroom right over here as well. About the same size bedroom. Once again, tall ceilings. This is gonna have a little bit, uh, I guess about the same size closet, the little mini walk-in closets. And this is gonna be the shared bathroom. And I like the fact that you're gonna have your uh, sink, toilet, but a mud inset shower in the, uh, like I said, if you've got kids in the secondary bedrooms, you often don't see the mud inset shower in that. So that's one of those things that Lifestyles by Stadler, because they are a higher end custom home builder, you're gonna get a few more higher end features than you would if you went with a different builder. All right, let's go check out the backyard real quick. Because there is some nice living space out here, some uh, hanging out space. But I love the fact they got the tongue and groove roof uh, or ceiling on there. Lots of can lighting. That fan, the center place is gonna be blocked for a fan. They're probably gonna put a fan up here later on in the build process. But this is a one acre lot. So you're gonna have lots and lots of privacy back here. I'm not sure what they're gonna do. I'm sure they're gonna do something to kind of clean up this area when it comes to the landscaping portion of it. But it's already got uh, plumb for your outdoor kitchen space natural gas, a sink, and all that stuff. And we haven't shown you the bedroom yet, that's coming, but that door's gonna be accessing that area. So yeah, super quiet out here. Um, the location, it's just off of 281, but I timed it. It takes eight minutes to get from this house to the local HEB grocery store, so that's very easy to get to. All right, coming into the, and all the urban sprawl stuff, restaurants, I know there's academy coming. So you're out in the country, but not too far away. This is gonna be your pantry for the kitchen. 
And uh, this looks like a powder room, kind of tucked to the side, which I do like having it away from the main living space. Because yeah, if you're hosting a party, there's some sounds you don't want your guests or other folks to hear. So it's nice to be able to go off to the side a little bit. Uh, this is gonna be a really good size laundry room. And I like the fact they've got a little step down. Now, just in case there's a leak in the, for the washing machine, uh, it's not gonna go everywhere. This is another feature that I really do like. A while back, I had a client that was looking at, at a house with a similar plan that had a one car garage off separate. And the reason was she was gonna turn into her own personal gym and uh, keep just using the two car garage size. But then you could come in from her own personal gym and go straight up here and then around this corner to the master bedroom. But this is the two car garage I was just talking about. Oh, we got other people here now. All right, I'm gonna just keep shooting the video here while they're doing stuff. But good size two car garage. And I like the fact that they used uh, underneath the staircase as some additional storage. You do have a place for your water heater, plumb for water softener, and you got some nice windows in the garage as well, giving you a little more extra lighting. All right, let's head on upstairs. Uh, I think more and more builders are gonna start doing these little upstairs uh, game rooms, and I like call them little, little private apartments. Because yeah, if you're like a lot of folks and you've got those 20 something year olds who just can't afford to be in the housing market right now, this is an ideal little apartment setup. So they can come in straight in from the garage, come upstairs, this could be your big, big living room entertainment space, have our own private bath upstairs. Now, a little parenting advice. If you do have that 20 something year old that's living in your house like this, charge them rent or they will never leave. So make sure you, you're teaching them a little responsibility that nothing's free in this world. But this would be the bedroom. Some nice views from the bedroom up here, nice trees. And lots of gorgeous oak trees out here. But you would also have a good sized closet up here as well. So yeah, if you had that 20 something year old, this would be ideal for a place for them to come in and live while they try to save us some money to buy a house of their own or just turn into a game room. All right, let's sit downstairs. All right, we just came downstairs. And like I said, if they want to use an apartment, they can come into that bed, that garage or this garage without disturbing anybody else in the house. All right, on to the master bedroom suite. Like I said, you would be able to come out of this door and right out this door to go to the pan outdoor patio area if you wanted to. A really good size master bedroom. This is gonna have plenty of light in here and those kind of cedar, it's gonna be framed out. We're looking like cedar planks up there. But lots of space in here. Coming into the master bath, you're gonna have dual vanities. There's no electricity yet, so it is a little dark. Hopefully you can see. Uh, big, big, giant shower, mud inset as well into the foundation. But you're gonna have two shower heads right up there. So very nice. Your water closet with lots of space. This is gonna be a little pocket door to be able to slide away. Now at first I thought, Wow, this is a pretty small closet. I know it's hard to see, but it keeps going quite a ways back this way. And I know there's no light, but there, there is quite a bit of garage space back there. I told uh, the builder, I'll come out and do another video of this house if it hasn't sold already and uh, kind of showcase what the house looks like once we have electricity and a little further on. But this is like the earliest stage I like to show a house just so you can get a better feel for what the house looks like. All right, I hope you enjoy the tour of this home. Don't click off just yet, because after I finish my little exit thing, I'm gonna have this on the slides, along with my contact information. So if, you got, if you're interested in this house, or know someone looking to maybe move to the Spring Branch area. Oh, one more thing. Uh, it's so easy to access uh, Northern San Antonio from here, because they have 
completed a lot of that construction on 281, making this a very easy to get to community. So you're out in the country, but not so far if you're trying to work in Northern San Antonio. So I really do love this community, especially since 281's got a lot better. All right, if you hit, hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, but most importantly, share these videos with your friends and family, especially someone who might be moving to the Texas Hill Country area. I'm a real estate agent and I provide these videos to show my value to you, hoping you'll reach out to me. All right, take care now, bye.